Alright guys, it's me again, Death Club Bushcraft. Um, today I'm going to do a video about my survival team. Alright, um, it's quite a nasty day today, so um, you might not be hear, hear me very well. But what I'm going to do is, I'm, first of all, I'm going to dunk it in the river uh, and, we'll see how, and then we'll see if everything's alright. just dragged my uh, survival tin out of the river and um, what my challenge is now is I'm going to try and see if I can use everything in here to get a fire going in this kind of uh, conditions and I've picked today because um, a survival tin is really a worst case thing it's only a really really small kit so everything here has got to work um, perfectly even in the worst conditions otherwise it's no point um, so that's what I'm going to try and do, and if, if I can't get it going, then I know I need to change what's in here. But, um, that's my challenge, so I'm going to get to it. I'm just going to find a place where I can get out of the weather a bit. And then I'm going to see if there's any dry, uh, <laughs> dry stuff around, um, which I can use to do my fire. But I need to get on. This area is a bit too muddy, I'll have to find somewhere else. I'll have to go up on this high ground up here. Alright then, so now I'm going to open my survival tin. Um, I'm not going to go over the full contents right now. I'll get my fire going and then I'll do that because I'm also losing the light a bit here. So um, I've just got a little tobacco tin and what I've done is I've wrapped electrical tape around it. Should be unwrapped and then wrap back on again. And here's my contents. What I'm going to take out is this. I'm going to start to use that for um, start to see if I can get some bits of uh, wood, put some wood up, some shavings, feather sticks. Um, let's give it back on pockets, they dry. Um, so I need to get some dry wood. I'm collecting lots of sticks. I'm going to try and get off the bark. I'm going to see if I can try and get some dry wood inside. Alright, what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to make some shavings and I'm trying to collect them in my hat to keep them dry. And that's uh, it's keeping them off the ground and hopefully shielding them from any water that's falling on top of them. And obviously, clothing is an important part of your survival kit. It's the first layer of shelter and all that. So, it's important to... Uh, to wear the right sort of clothing. And obviously hats are useful in multiple different ways. So now what I'm trying to do is um, I'm just trying to split some sticks down, peel all the bark off. Now they're quite dry inside. Um, I know you shouldn't have a really knife, knife blade towards you, but I'm just holding it in place and not pushing on it. I'm, uh, I'm controlling it. And I'm just trying to not split it by pushing. It. I'm just trying to prise the wood apart like this. This should get me some nice dry kindling sticks. So 
See, there we are. My fire, everything uh, all done from components out of my survival tin. Right then, so I'm going to explain to you what I've got in my survival tin. So, first of all, on the outside, I didn't take this with me earlier. Well, I didn't take this with me when I took this out earlier. So I didn't see, but I've got a signal mirror and uh, like a, a freezer bag, which I just held on with elastic bands, you know. Electric tape. Keeps everything dry and waterproof. So inside the tin, here's what I've got. Um, I've got these army matches. These are from a British Army ration pack. Um, though they basically suck, so I'm going to get rid of these. And I'll show you what I mean. They must be out of date or something. They don't really light. And when they do, that's all that happens. So, I can't buy them out, but they don't do anything. It doesn't even set the wood on fire either. So, they suck. But apart from that, I think everything else is good. So, we'll get them out of the way. Um, and here's a cutting tool I've got. First of all, I've got this. Which is a Gerber Power Frame Mini. Um, it's a good little knife, really strong. Like no playing the blade at all. Really nice little, uh, nice little knife. Really, you can open it one-handed. Really sharp, and um, it's just a good little knife. And it's luckily just fits just fits inside the tin. So uh, I'll set that. Secondly, this is a cool thing I've got. Got a uh, miniature ferrocene rod. Um, it's also got a compass built in, so I can have it as a compass and a uh, fur rod. And on the end, I've got a little striker. Now you have these little saw pieces of striker, which you get, but this one's snapped in half, so but it still strikes us uh, quite really well. And I've not used this yet because I want to keep the coating on here to stop it from uh, going rusty in case of any moisture or anything. And it does actually happen because I've had one of these before that got rusty and it sort of the rust ate all the way through the fur rod and it's just snapped in half. So. Um, Obviously, because there's the iron in it and stuff, so obviously you've got to um, keep these dry. That's important. So I've got these two things, iron things. A tiny little torch. Just the torch you shine around with. Um, really useful for light. It's got a little catch on it. Where I can just catch it and it holds on, or I can just press it when I need it. It's about the you know. I'm not going to fit a big torch in there, so that's all I've got. Cordage, I've just got some um, fishing wire, some strong fishing wire, two little bundles of that. Obviously, because string is quite thick, but if I need to do something like that, like um, type it two pieces of string to get uh, two pieces of sticks together or whatever, I could have that and that'll just get by. Um, I've got a wire saw. Um, I've taken the uh, little toggles off to get, get rid of all excess space or to you know get rid of room. Uh, take up, stop taking up so much, stop it taking up so much space. Rather, um, I can just put little twigs through to make toggles, and a lot of people think these are kind of rubbish because uh, they kind of break. But if you use them all right, if you use them correctly, then they're sort of all right, not too bad. 
um, and obviously I can make it so I can cut larger pieces of sticks, cut branches, make shelter, whatever. I've got a bit of tinder in there, I've got um, one cotton bud that's got Vaseline in it, that's, that's all I can really fit in. Um, I've got a fishing kit, got like weights and loads of different hooks and stuff in there. Obviously some more fishing line. Then I've got um, two sets of snare wire. It's just a single strand sort of snare wire. And I've got a few eyelets in there as well. Um, and obviously a single strip piece of strand of snare wire like that. It's not really going to make a strong enough snare for a rabbit. Um, I've actually had single, I like a picture of snare wires. I've had them break with rabbits before. So you need to double it over or triple it over, make a triple strand uh, red uh, snare. Got a large piece of um, tin foil, which is just folded up flat, and that's loads of stuff you can do out of that, obviously. Um, and as well as that, I actually will actually use my other piece that's a new piece I put in earlier. I'm gonna fire add a, another piece in there, which I put, which actually put um, the, the tinder on like this, um, just keep it off the ground because the ground was so wet, as I'm pro probably sure you've seen. Um, so I just sparking that, and that kept it um, off, the, off the wet ground. And also help you know reflect some of the heat back because the wood was really damp. I needed to keep the heat in, and get as much heat as I possibly could onto the um, into the wood. Some wood purification tablets. It's good for one liter each. And then this just goes with my little freezer bag. And I know if I fill it up to, uh, well, I don't know how much to fill it up to. Just below there, that's a liter. So I've got four liters of water there. It'll keep you alive. Two liters of water per day, so that's you know basic standard intake, and then if you ration it, whatever. I've got them jury tabs, then the, the bottom of tin. I've just got some bandages or plasters, just small ones, just for small cuts and stuff on my hand. That's all I've really got in my style tin. And obviously, these matches are going to be uh, replaced with some better ones, but in there, then I've got two ways to make fire. <clears throat> um, got two cutting tools, I've got light, I've got hunting on trapping, fishing, food procurement, and I've got hydration. So I've got you know fire, um, water and food sorted out there, and obviously I'm not gonna fit anything that I can really make shelter out of just in a small tin like this. But um now this is also could be a container at a push somehow. Um really small little thing. And then also, you can also make a sort of bowl, really flimsy bowl or something out of this, just to hold some berries or a bit of liquid or something in there. But that's basically all I had. And so what an early, I just put the Vaseline um, thingy, and I just lit it with a couple of matches, and um, that's how I had my fire earlier. So that's basically all I've got myself to. If there's any um, modifications you think I should make, anything that... Um, any suggestions that are better stuff and feel free to leave a comment um, and take a look. But I think I've got, I think I've basically maxed this out to the best I can actually make it right now. Um, but yeah, anyway.